Yo, what's up, everybody? Jumping hat. I am back with my noobs guide for Elden Ring. In the last episode, we started the first half of the Hollow Tree. Now, in this episode, we're going to finish it up, including fighting the final boss of this area, which is the hardest boss in the entire game, and that is Melina. So that is the goal of this episode. Now, before I actually go and do that, I do have some unfinished business where I've been talking about it, now I'm gonna finally do it, and that is, I'm gonna go and turn in all of these paintings. So we've been collecting these, we've had them sitting around, we've already gotten some of the rewards, like two of them, so we don't need to worry about those. But the rest of them, we're gonna go and turn in right now. This will be pretty quick. So the very first painting that we're going to go and turn in is gonna come from this location, the Church of Pilgrimage. This is on that south side of the map, and this is the painting that came from Stormville Castle. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong about any of these. But just behind the church, somewhere over here, we're going to find the guy. There he is. It's always going to be one of these ghost guys on a chair. Now, the way you're supposed to actually do this is to look at the painting and then figure out where that location is. Nobody does that. Everybody just looks up a guide. Now, the next one is going to come from pretty much just over here. This is the Dragon Burnt Ruins. And here is the Seaside Ruins Grace. And this one came from the Artist Shack, I'm pretty sure. So let's go ahead and turn that in right now. Now, the ones that we've already turned in, one of them was for the Frenzy Flame Spell, the one that was really broken. And that one came from the Capitol. We got that painting in the Capitol, and we turned it in over at that Windmill Village. Let me go ahead and turn this in. This is not the right location exactly, but somewhere just over here. Yeah, where the turtle is, you can find it over by these graves. So let's go ahead and pick this up. This is a talisman, I'm pretty sure. Ah, uh, come on, pick it up. So we don't need to worry about the one that we can pick up at the windmill village. We've already gotten this one and the painting came from the capital. The other one that we turned in came from the artist shack over here and I believe that one was just over here kind of by the storm caller church and that was the heart bow so we actually got that as well so we don't need to worry about those so now that we have gotten that the next one I'm gonna go and do came from this manor over here we got the painting there now we do have this grace back here which is behind the manor so where you're gonna find this is right here you can see like these little stone areas that one in the middle, that's where we're going to go. And you can kind of see, like, I guess, the manor in the background. It's going to be by all these tombstones. And there's a ton of enemies back here, so I need to watch out. But there is actually going to be one of these paintings that we're going to go and turn in. Which is actually, by far, like, kind of crazy. Because getting down to it is just insane. Now, if you know what you're doing, you shouldn't have a problem. But yeah, no, you can die easily. So let me look around and try to figure this out. Okay, here he is. There's a bunch of messages. Sometimes the messages can definitely help you find the right spot. But you do have to get close to the guy for him to appear. So this is going to be a bunch of armor. Not very important stuff, but whatever. Now the next one that we're going to go and do... I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. This painting came from Soul Castle. So let me go ahead and zoom in so we can find the castle right over here. That's where we got the painting. Where we're going to go is we are going to go to this bridge right here. So I'm going to fast travel to this grace. And this is just like off to the side of the bridge. Pretty simple stuff. I'm trying to remember, what is the reward for this one? Oh yeah, the reward for this one is interesting. It's a pretty kind of cool helmet. I like it. I know some people might not like it. But I think it looks awesome because it reminds me of Pyramid Head. So that's pretty cool from Silent Hill. So let me go ahead and ride on over here and get this. Now watch out. I did do a little bit of a practice run for this episode and I literally just went right past an item that I missed. So let's pick that up. Okay, cool. Now what I noticed was that, and I don't understand this. I really don't. What causes these skeletons to spawn? I thought it was the ghost ship. I thought it was the turtle. I guess it's none of those things, but here is where we can turn the painting in, right here. Let's pick this up, and I'll actually show you this great hood, because this is kind of sick. 
Definitely you could figure out a way to make this work with an armor set. I do think you need to find the right armor set to make it work. But I think that actually looks pretty awesome. I know some people might disagree, but you know, that's fine. Let me go ahead and re-equip my helmet now. And by the way, I feel 100% better. I am over my cold and I'm super happy about that, if you can't tell. Now the final one we're gonna go and get, the last one we need, like I said, is actually pretty difficult. It is going to come from this area, and we got this from this town of sorceries. That's where we got the painting, and I'm just trying to remember exactly. We want to go back to the fort, and we're going to head over here by this tree. I'm just going to put a random waypoint down, because I'm not exactly sure. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this ahead, and I'm going to see you guys in a moment. Alrighty. Now, another thing I do need to do as well is go and get the rest of the great runes active. So I'm gonna wait on that, and in the next episode, after this one, I'm gonna make a lot of story progression. I probably will get to the final bosses of the game, and then at that point, I just need to figure out, is there anything important that I missed, things I need to still do, then I'll beat the game, and we should be good. So if there is anything, by the way, guys, that you know that I've missed and it's important, let me know, please. That way I can go and get all that stuff before I actually beat the game. So just over here, let me show you exactly on the map. My waypoint was pretty much great. We can actually see that there is stuff down there. And yeah, we need to go down there. So this sucks. So the first branch is going to be just here. You can pretty much jump our walk. Jumping was probably better because walking, I almost fell off. Now we need to just walk over here. And we can walk off onto this branch. This is super dangerous. But now we can turn around and hop down to this branch. So I'm just walking off. Let me heal again. What's really bad, by the way, with this is that there is an enemy down here. It's a golem, but he's like the strongest golem in the game. So there's a chance you can get killed by the golem. So now it's best to just jump over here and then... I'm just going to do one jump, but we're going to jump over here. Now, I'm going to try to get down, and I'm going to hop down to this branch right here. And at this point, I'm good. So I shouldn't... No! Gravity! I spoke too soon. Okay. Well, don't need the waypoint anymore because I'll just follow where I died at. Okay. That really sucks. I thought I was good, I just needed to walk down just a little bit more, just the tiniest little bit more, I would have been fine, but you know how it is. So hop down into the wind, and let's do that again. Hopefully, I'll do it better this time. Now the messages are popping up in the bloodstains, so let me just go ahead and jump. Oh god, no, 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 no. This is not going well. Okay, you know gravity in me, it sucks. I'm just walking. Okay, you could double jump. That works. You will always take that damage. Maneuvering this horse is always terrible when you're doing this. Now we're just walking off here. Ah, don't want to lose my runes. That would be terrible. Okay. Now, let's walk off here as well. Okay, I'm going to double jump just because I got scared. That did not look right to me. Also, to be super safe, I'm going to get off the horse to reposition... And then get back on the horse. Yes, technically you could just jump right there, but I don't trust that because I have overshot that before. So I'm just doing it this way. I think this is a safer way of doing it. Now let's go ahead and pick this up. Walk down. Jump to this branch. And the big thing, I'm just going to literally get off the horse. No! No! Gravity! Well, at least this episode is going to be entertaining. This is great, by the way. I love the fact that this is happening at the start because where we're going is insane and I'll probably die several times. So this is going to be a lot of deaths. And to start this episode with gravity is just awesome. That is amazing, especially the way that this is happening to me is so great. I love it. OK, let's try this. They say the third time is the charm. Let's hope that's true. Now, the big thing, like I was saying before, 
is that what you really don't want to happen is to get down there and then to get killed by this enemy because then you have to come back down. That is freaking awful if that happens. So luckily we have a weapon that can knock this guy down no problem. And these golems, when you crit them, they take so much damage, it will blow your mind. So that's the good news with this. We don't probably have to worry about it so much just because of that. Okay, I'm going to jump across. Now I'm going to turn around, jump again. I don't know what it is. I cannot maneuver when I get down on this stupid thing. I cannot for some reason. I just, come on. Turn around, please. All right, good, good, good. Now I can walk down here. This should be safe. It is. Thank God. All right, so there's the golem right there. Let's go ahead and get on him. First of all, I'm drinking my drink. That way I can spam this like crazy. And the big thing is to knock him down. He needs to fall over. And then when he does, we can go ahead and run up and crit him. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, we still got the crit. And this is massive damage. Look at the damage! My God! It's like 13,000. Now I'm backing up and I'm spamming away. Hopefully he falls down again. Come on, fall down. And he did. He so did. That should do it. Now imagine coming down here when you're weak. Hmm, not good. And he can drop his weapon and stuff. I've seen that before. But that's really not the purpose. And you pick this up and you're like, man, what is this? Imagine coming down here too. Without the painting. Without the knowledge. And you take the time. You die multiple times fighting that guy. And all you get is a freaking rune arc. That would drive me mad. But here is the painting. So we can walk up to him. This is, I believe, an ash, right? No, it's an ash of war. There we go. Okay, so now we're done with that, and we can finally start working on the second half of this place. So where is the place I actually have to go here? I believe it's this. This is the grace where the boss was. I'm going to cut this ahead. I'm going to see you guys in a moment. Alrighty. Well, let's get started. We need to go over here through the gate. Now we're going to go down. And there is like a chest on the way that we do want to grab. But I gotta say, and I am so serious, although this area is the hardest place in the whole game, but I'm gonna be honest, I kind of like that. I like the fact that it's difficult because it's just kind of fun. But it is by far the most beautiful, epic place. I love this area. I think this is the best looking place in the whole game. Now, I still do believe you don't want to take the elevator. The chest is up the steps. But I do believe that Stormville Castle is probably my favorite just because it's so well done as a castle. But this place, uh, it's close. I don't know. I would say definitely second because it's just so epic and beautiful. I'm sorry. Now, it drives you crazy, though, because some of the enemies here are insane and the boss is insane but now we can hit this elevator and go on down we're about to get a grace there is going to be a scarlet knight blocking the way so be ready to take that out now you can't just run right past it and to be honest on my very first playthrough i actually ran past it and didn't even know it was there i don't know how i missed it i just ran right past it and hit the grace I think my eyes was on that grace going, oh yes. Okay, let's do it. I'm just gonna spam this till it falls over. There we go. Let's run in, get that crit. And we good. Now this weapon though, seriously, it's just so good in this area. It is amazing. And check this out, we have a friend here. So we can complete her quest in this episode now you do have two options for her quest i would say do the good option because you can help her or you don't have to help her and you could kill her i guess i definitely say helping her is better but you actually get more rewards that way as well now make sure you talk to her until she repeats herself i'm pretty sure she is and yeah she is so now we can move on out of this little 
church and we can start fighting now first of all let's just look around again i mean look at this place this place is so cool and try jumping oh well, actually that might work i've never even noticed that before hmm well i'm not gonna do that i don't think there's anything there now a lot of these enemies though luckily we could kind of just sneak up behind them and smash attack them and it works great right and guard counters were great hello i did not want to get blown up right away chug away let him bounce off let's take him out now they only blow up when they actually run up to suicide bomb you i'm gonna turn my lantern on just for some extra light and i'm just going around we got some knights in here let's charge up the heavy and we actually got them both pretty epic this weapon, the range of these heavies are just so good. So, so good. Now I'm gonna keep going. There is another door. And right here, this is important, especially later. This is a way you can get to a shortcut. So try to remember that. And later on, you might just run past everything. And watch out, there's a knight right here. I'm just charging up. He's gonna fall over, finish him off. And I will go up here to kill this guy, but I'm not going to go this way yet. There is like so many different ways to go on this first little part. It's kind of crazy. And I have to kind of figure out exactly how I want to go about it. So I'm just winging it. Now watch out, we got two knights over here. And they both have crossbows. So I'm going to let that bounce off. And smash both of them. Let's see if he wants to actually attack. Yes, he does. Guard counters are so overpowered in this game. It's amazing. But let's go ahead and head down the steps now. And let's take this guy out. There is a suicide bomber on the left. So watch out for that. I'm scared. And he's getting up. Okay, okay. Good. Take him out. And... Yeah, no. There is a jump over there, though. That is important. I probably might go that way first. I don't know. Let me turn around. Actually, let me go over here. Yeah, let's go over here real quick, because there's some stuff we can grab over here, and then we don't really have to go this way again. Now, in this room, there's going to be a couple of these Scarlet Knights. Oh, God. That really sucks when there's two of them? Oh, 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 hello! Oh, no, where did that thing come from? That literally almost gave me a freaking heart attack. Now they're all on me. This is not good. Okay, okay. Knock one down. Come on. Spam away! Alrighty, this weapon's OP! Hello! Kill that one. Oh, God, you're alive? Whatever. Die. Watch out for these things. Dragon Ball Z over here. There we go. Luckily, they bounce off. And when you guard counter them, they fall down. Easy stuff. But that was freaking dangerous, man. Oh my god. I don't know where that one came from. I'm really not sure. Now, I do hear a Scarab. I don't think it's important, though. I believe it's an HP one. It's above me, actually. So, yes. So, over here, there's an item. Let's make sure we grab that. When you're on the other side, like, you can see that item and you might be tempted to jump. There's no reason to. If we come down here now, we don't have to worry about it later. So, let's take out these enemies here. Oh, no, no, no. Don't blow me up. God, you're kind of stupid, dude. What are you doing? Give me your stuff. And, hello. Bounce off. And I'm just going to do a normal attack. Oh, he actually got a hit on me. Just doing my normal attack to finish them off. And he is going to try to shoot me. No. Come on, man. Swing! There you go. And let's just follow it up. And let's pick up the stuff. Now, there is a room over here. Let's come in here. And there is a branch. Okay. And there's a guy. Hello. Come on, attack me, and die. Now, let me first actually come out this way. I'm not going to go up yet. I'm just kind of looking around real quick. 
taking out all these enemies. This is where we want to find is this bridge. Charge this up. Someone's behind me or something, right? Hello? Hello? Well, that guy fell off and actually died, which is pretty epic. Let's take him out. And let's go and rush this dude. Shoot me! That was a big mistake, dude. Big mistake. Okay. So now we're good. And I wanted to get to the bridge because the bridge is death. If you cross that bridge, you're going to get shot with all those crossbows and you're freaking dead. So don't do that. You can dodge through it, of course, and all that. But mm -mm, we're not doing that. Let me actually go this way and go up and check this out real quick. Then I'm going to go back. But all the enemies are dead for the most part. And what is up here? We do have an item. Let me, before I drop down, let's keep going up all the way. And there's just a message up here. Item behind. What? What are you talking about? Oh. Okay. Yeah, there is an item there, but I do believe to get to that one, we don't get it from here. Maybe you could actually jump that. I don't know exactly, but let's get this item real quick. Which is a big fat nothing. And watch out. Oh my god. That guy was pretty mad. There we go. And there's a lot of butterflies, by the way. If you want to pick all them up, you can. They're crafting materials. There's just so many of them. I'm not going to pick them all up. I'm just going to be honest. Now I'm going to go back, though, because there's some stuff. That item up there we can get It's going to actually, I believe, come from where that scarab is above me. We can get over to that item from there. But let's go this way because there's going to be a locked door that we need to open up over here. Watch out. The shield enemies are always, like, so freaking annoying. They're just star because they don't attack and then they like to counter you and stuff. Oh god, okay. Come on, man. This is your best way of taking them out, though. Oh my god! What is this? Uh, and now the other one's coming. See, that was always what I was afraid of. I was afraid of that, knowing that that was exactly gonna... Oh god, I'm getting shot from the side! Okay. Not going good. Yeah, that guy down there is ridiculous, okay? He just is. Uh, come on. Get them both. Beautiful. Yeah, that guy's OP down there. Watch out. There is another guy in here. Let's just actually do something I never do, which is go for backstabs. Okay, that works. And there's another guy in here. Hello, buddy. If you get that little sneak attack damage on him, they should be one shot it. Okay, I don't know how that guy aggroed on me. That's so insane to me. There's a guy right here in the corner. Let's take him out first. And there's a couple other guys. Okay. Take him out just to kill him. Now we'll just guard counter this dude. And let's do our follow up. And now we can open up the door. So let's do that. And that's just one key. And what is this exactly? I know there should be a trophy here at some point. Because we're going to get a legendary summon, an ash. And that should be the last one. I've looked through like the list. I have collected all of them besides this one. We're also going to get like a couple legendary talismans here. And then the final legendary talisman should come from one of those areas from the super end of the game. Which we'll be getting soon. Now I could also pop a rune arc just to be dumb. But I don't know. Okay, I'm looking for this one spot. All right, it's right there. That's where I want to go first. Let's go and grab this stuff. So the messages are here to kind of tell us about the jump and everything. But yeah, you just jump right here. Now we can just jump over here. And there's that scarab, which I kind of want to kill just so it shuts up. Okay. Okay. I'm just missing. And now you didn't get one shot. Oh, God. You got to be joking, right? But I'll take that, too. I want the potions, right? Yeah. What's really funny about this place, by the way, is that me and my buddy, when we first actually came here and did co-op, watch out in this room. I kind of remember there being, like, a Scarlet Knight. Maybe I'm tripping. I guess I am. This might be the summon. Yes, it is. That is the Ash. So that should be a trophy if you've been following the guide right there. Or an achievement if you're on Xbox. But yeah, me and my buddy, by the way, 
we uh, went through this area and it was so crazy and chaotic because there were so many freaking invasions that were happening and like we were just wrecking everyone like we were destroying people and because of that we actually never had to worry about healing because we kept getting all of our potions back because we kept getting invaded and we kept wrecking the people invading us so that made this place like a little bit easier for us for the very first time just because we were able to do that now that's one of those seabed curses i think there's another one in this area as well but we don't need those because we decided to make the dung eater into a summon but that's what that would be used for so now i'm gonna jump across to where that guy was shooting me that big enemy and we're gonna go and take him out and then we'll go and do the bottom portion of this area so just over here we can go ahead and just jump down this is that shortcut i was talking about there's going to be an elevator later on and you can just do a running jump and jump across here and can't summon for this guy but if you spam your weapon he should fall over no problem i'm gonna actually drink my drink too because we're gonna have to fight another one, but we're gonna get to a grace before that. And we can rest there. All that beginning part we don't need to worry about. Come on, get it off! Oh, God! That's the thing. Just make sure you get some distance from the guy. That way you can actually spam. And I'm not gonna go for the crit. I'm just gonna spam away. Why not? Okay. And I'm just backing up. Let him swing. Okay, I'm getting hit. No, I'm not. Good, good, good. Another hit. And which one is that one? Okay, watch out. Block this. Just let it go off and keep blocking it. Now I'll finish this guy off. Okay, he's not dead, but guard counter! Got him. And I won't use my FP potion yet, because I'm trying to save it. And we did get a weapon from that. Now I want to point something out. It's up to you if you want to do this or not. Let's pick this up. This is another somber ancient stone. I didn't bring that up earlier, but we got one, which was nice. You can drop down over here. Maybe that was something. I don't know. But the only thing down there is some butterflies. I'm pretty sure there's no items or anything. So if you want to go down that way, you can. I think it's better, though, to do what I'm about to show you because there is kind of a secret room where there's an item but it's up to you. I don't really think the item's worth it or anything like that. So we'll see in a second. But we're going to come over here to where the steps are. And you can actually see that room right now if you look over there. There's like a doorway. It's kind of dark and everything. But let's come up here. There's going to be one enemy. Now spamming our weapon is not a bad idea. But if you can guard counter and stuff. This one is a wizard though. Oh yeah, that's a wizard. That's We don't want to mess with that. Okay. It missed by just dodging, and yeah. Charging up these heavies will make this a joke. And also, like, once it has actually, like, been broken, the stance, you stun the crap out of these things. So, as long as you can hit it before it can do its thing, it's not a problem at all. So, I'm going to charge up a heavy. There we go. One more normal attack. No, no, no. Do your thing. Now die. And let's pick this up and directly across this is where that item was which i brought up earlier that you can see but now let's go ahead and come over here and we need to jump right here and then we can let's just jump i don't want, want to risk it so jump onto this now we can walk off this is where this little dark room is and there is an item in here we are above a room, though, where there's like a billion of those guys we just fought. Well, there's three of them, but when you're dealing with three of them, that's actually quite a bit. So hopping down there, that's a little scary. I'm going to be honest. I'm out of FP potions. Crap. Well, I'm going to hit that one right now, and I'm going to try to do that. I'm trying to... Oh, God. Oh, God. Mm -mm. Yeah, this is a problem. This is a problem because there is a strong enemy outside. Strong. Oh, God. Okay, I want to take out this enemy. I really do. And this guy is so freaking 
tough. I wish I had the mimic on. I should put it on. Okay, remember, I've always talked about these guys. I've always talked about them. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. Oh, man. That sucked. But now that I think about it, if I could go back, I would have just fast traveled back to the Grace because once you get that item in that room, you're pretty much good. If you drop down and there's those three enemies, if you try to fight in that room, the chance of waking up multiple of those guys is really high. And at that point, that's kind of a death sentence. Then if you try to exit the room, you have that one guy outside and that's kind of a death sentence. Plus, I had no more FP potions. That's not good. And I didn't actually even have my mix potion, which now I do. So if we actually come from this angle, I talked about this earlier. This is where those butterflies are. This is much easier. And what's really kind of nice about that spot down there is we can summon. So I'm going to summon Dung Eater. Why not? Let's give him another shot. So I'm going to go ahead and hop down. There's going to be an enemy right away. So just be ready for that. Let's summon... Get ready to block, because he's going to be all over us, probably. And if Dung Eater can distract him, okay, or he'll just stand there like a dum-dum. But I was going to say, if he will distract him for me, I'll just spam like crazy against this guy. And there you go. One down. We're going to have a lot of those guys, so just be ready for that. But this is a door here. And there is a legendary talisman in here. And this is going to be one of two in this area. So let's pick that up. And that's actually a pretty good one. That's basically like the one I'm using, but for magic. So if you want to boost a bunch of your magic stats, you can. But I think you take more damage. That's what this thing does. So be ready for that. Okay, we are going to have another one about to summon. So get ready to rush and maybe try to get a free hit with a charge. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, he got away. The Dung Eater is helping me here. Oh my god. Get him, bro. He's gonna fall over. Get in there, do some damage. Come on, I'm not trying to use my FP up like crazy. Come on, Dung Eater, do your job. Hit him, do something. Oh my god. Thank you, Dung Eater. If he does that against you, you're dead. I don't think you can do anything. Like, I can't block. Maybe I could roll, but no. He's just like stunning you to death. It's pretty awful. All right, so we're going to have another one in the next area. I'm just looking around. No, nope. is there one here? There is one here. Okay, well, my bad. Could have definitely got some free hits right there. I'm just going to charge up a heavy. Come on, get him, kill him. One more hit, dude. Got him. All right, we good, we good. And I'm going to actually use an FP potion. Just because I know another one's coming up. And yeah, I got everything in that room. So let's keep going. We're about to get to that room that we were at. And there is my runes as well. This area is amazing for your runes. I mean, oh my god, that's crazy. Why did I put my weapon away? Oops. Spam away. Oh god. Come on. Oh my god, this is insanity. But the summon definitely helps for being able to get some free hits off when he distracts. Come on, man. Fall over. There we go. Now I'm just getting the crit. That way he's dead. Boom. Okay. It looks like we actually had a knight come. So they're coming down from up top, which is fine. Let's hurry up and try to kill this one. All right, he should be dead. Now we have the Scarlet Knight. Well, we got two of them. All right, well, that was beautiful. Come on, dude, do your thing. I have no one more FP. Couple more hits. Come on. How did you not fall over, dude? Our lady. This is a check. All right. And... Distraction. Awesome. Let's go ahead and chug an FP potion. That's kind of good, because now we don't have to deal with that once we go up there. That is kind of a danger of going up there. But let me come in here and grab this, which is a Lord's Rune. Now we can come into this room, and from this angle, you can trigger them one at a time. 
fairly easily. So just try to trigger one and back out of the room if you need to. And just make sure you don't trigger two at once. Oh, wow. Look how little damage he did. My god, that was pathetic. And with him, I should be able to just keep spamming away. Give me the crit, please. Okay, I didn't do that much damage either, though. Okay, one more hit. Boom. And let's get on the next one, which you could probably do this. A couple hits should knock it over. My god, it did. The last one is going to be a mage. This is actually the spear one. This one is really, really easy to guard counter. Just because it just constantly attacks. Alright, there we go. Let me pick that up. Thank you. Awesome. And we just got another nine. You get a lot of nines here. Okay, no, this is not a mage. This is another one of the disc ones. Okay. Oh, wow. I got really lucky there. You know what I just noticed, though? Wow. When you do do your FP move, they do take damage. That was kind of interesting. There we go. Where normally, they, with the physical, they take no damage at all until you actually break their stance. But now that room is cleared, and we're going to have another one of these guys coming up. The OP ones from underground. So be ready for that. But we're going to actually take that ladder up top. That's going to be the plan. There's another ladder over here, but it's not really good. Where's the guy? All right, that's good. That's good. You see, if you can, like, have him summon like that, not an issue. Just get a couple, like, charged heavies on him, and then just crit him, and they'll be dead. But that's only when you can literally be right on top of the spawn. And you do need to know the spawn is there. So I just grabbed that stuff. That ladder over there, don't take that one. That's kind of a death ladder. You go up there, try to fight. It's pretty ridiculous. This too is going to be a little bit challenging up here, but we've already taken out several of the enemies, mainly the ones that are dangerous, the Scarlet Knights, but there are two of them up here. So if they have not come down yet, just be ready for that, that there's going to be two of them chilling up here. Now let me just look around real quick. And he's about to go away, which is fine. He has served his purpose. Probably should have summoned the Black Knife. I'm going to be honest. I think the Black Knife would have been better. And shoot me. Thank you. Now, you need to die. It's crazy how he's still in here, though. That is pretty ridiculous. Wow, he's just spamming that for me. Remember, that's a debuff. And, of course, this guy had to throw poison. Get that poison out of here. All right, die. And we are good. I believe this room is cleared. Let's run up top. Now, there is something above me, and I might have to go back to get that. But I don't even know if there's actually even really an item up there or not. I'll have to look. I know there's like a couple giant plants up there. And there is like, I think, an FP potion scarab up there as well. Let's run in and do a jump attack. Okay, that works kind of like a charged heavy. Pretty sick. And let's pick up this item here. Now, we just took out some of those ballista guys. Let me take a look at this real quick. Yeah, so to get there, I'll have to go that way and cross that bridge. So, I will check that out before I move on to the next area. Now, on this part, you do want to climb up this. And we're going to need to make this jump across. So, just pretty much... Let's back up a little bit, run, and jump, and we made it, no problem. Now let's come in here and pick this up, just looking around. I could swear there's a chest in here, but there's not. I don't know why I'm always thinking there is. Let's go ahead and drop down, and we got our grace. So now we can actually rest here. I don't care about any enemies coming back. Also, level up. Tire time you're here. If you have the XP, level up. If you need to get a little bit more XP, yeah, just go ahead and pop some runes if you have them. That was perfect amount of XP. That's awesome. But I also can now use my mixed potion again because look at that. Oh, God. But from here, we can actually get a lot of free hits off. Come on, one more. He's going to fall over. Just keep spamming. Keep spamming. 
We got the FP potion going, or the mix potion going. I'm gonna block, back up. Try to get some distance here. Okay. And we should fall over again. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and go for the crit. And will this kill it? It did, awesome. Now, on my first couple playthroughs, when I wasn't using the shield, okay? Oh my god, like trying to dodge these enemies, I hated this part so much because of these two knights. These knights are overpowered, but with this shield, this is such a joke, it's insanity. So you could pretty much just back up a little bit. You don't want to trigger both knights, there's two of them, one on the right, one on the left. But being able to guard counter this is so dumb, and unfortunately I triggered the other one. Pretty much, once you knock these guys down, it's a complete, like, ridiculous amount of damage that you'll end up doing. Okay, that sucks. That was not fun. And this is not fun that this guy is shooting me! Well, that sucked. But, we can actually summon in this area. That's the thing. So technically, I can summon the Black Knife, and I do think that's going to be better here. And if we can get a lock on... I'm going to go after the one on the right. Let's just spam this, and this should not be a problem. Yeah. God, these guys are so ridiculous. And if I go too far back, the Black Knife is going to despawn. There we go. A couple guard counters, though, like that. Now we can get a crit, and here's the crazy part. Because he has to get up, we can actually charge up a heavy and take him out right away. And now we can get on this guy, just charge up a heavy, and he should be dead, no problem. Now we do have to deal, unfortunately, with the guys on the crossbows, because they are back now. So if you want to get these items, let's take those guys out real quick, and pretty much we can go and grab them. I'm just looking around. I think there might be something up here, right? Let me just double check. Um, maybe not. There might not be an item, like, just up here. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. Now, like I said, you can grab these and then try to keep moving or dodging to try to not get hit by them if possible. But I do want to go back this way anyway, because I do want to cross and check out that last little area. So... How do I do that? I gotta go up. Oh, leave me alone. Leave me alone. But yeah, you just run past everything here, no problem for the most part. Let's come up here. And now we can go across. And this is the last little spot. I don't know if there's any items up here, though. That's the thing. That would be kind of dumb. Yeah, so we have a giant plant. We have some small plants. We have the FP potion scare up. I don't see anything, so I'm just gonna say there's nothing up there, but I just wanted to make sure. Ah! Why you gotta be camping, man? Chill. Wait, what? What? Hello? Where are these guys? Oh, okay. What? What happened? Like, that's so crazy to me. I don't know what happened there. That's amazing. But now we can keep going. So, let's go on back and rest and at this point you know that's another thing too after i killed that boss guy i could have just went back and rested and then pop my mixed potion again because that's what i'm gonna do right here we're gonna go ahead and just jump up here and look at that oh god not good but we can go ahead and chug this and let's just spam this to take out one but yeah these guys actually take damage from this where normally they take no damage physical. That's kind of interesting. I never knew that, like, magic actually can damage these guys when they still have their stance. There we go. And now this is a mage, so we definitely want to knock this one down quick. We may even want to get close. Nah, we don't have to. There we go. Just spam away. And this will be a joke. One more. Nice. Let's go ahead and pick this up. And what is this? It's the sword. Now we pick that up. Pretty much getting all of the weapons. That's kind of cool. 
And we can just quickly go back and rest. That way we restore all our stuff and we can move on to the next area. Now there's going to be a Scarlet Rot Lake coming up over here. Now, I'm pretty sure there is nothing in that lake. I don't really want to explore it, just because I'm pretty sure there's nothing in that lake. So, there might be a butterfly or something, but I'm probably just gonna go for it. One thing, by the way, I'm sure everybody might be aware of this, unless, you know, you didn't play the game when it first came out, is that they did nerf Bloodhound Step. They nerfed Bloodhound Step, like, a lot. Which is a good thing, because that move was so freaking overpowered. Watch out, there's a centipede right here. But he's gotta wake up, so... Charge up your heavy, and you're good to go. Let's pick up the crafting material over here. But they nerfed that, like, really hard, so... That's the thing, like, now you're not gonna cover as much distance unless you have a light load. So if you really needed to use it for something, and I wouldn't recommend doing this, but you could take your armor off, and then you could actually move, like, beforehand. It's the same. Okay, watch out. There is an item right there, so that might be the one item that's here, and we can go get that real quick. But I'm telling you right now, I don't think there's anything once you get down there. If you can look, there is some butterflies right there. There is a corner on the left, too. Like, there's... A whole little corner over there but I don't think there's anything over there now technically we need to put on bloodhound step so let's find the claws I have a heavy load so I'm gonna take off my helmet now I have the mid load actually you know what let me just pop a great rune I have so many of them we'll see if I die again probably will but whatever yeah, I have like freaking 40 of them. That's crazy. All right, so let's go ahead and drink our drink. And now we can start moving. If you look at this, yeah, this is kind of ridiculous on how little distance you can cover now with this. That is insanity. There's a bunch of enemies in here too. That's another thing. But yeah, see that corner? There's nothing in the corner. What? And if you look, yeah, there's butterflies everywhere, but just get through this as best as you can. Now, over here, by the way, this is hilarious, right? Let me chug. But, oh my god. There is such a trolly spot. Don't worry about healing this. We're about to get to a grace. If you walk off right here, you're going to fall, like, a lot. I have literally fall... Oh, leave me... Oh, my god! Gravity... This is amazing. Unbelievable. But now, let's go back and um, I can finish my thought at least. But the enemy made me panic. That was a panic. Classic, classic from Soft. And I lost the great rune too. Oh my god, what is this game at times? I'm popping another one, I don't care. But what I was trying to say is that if you walk off right there, you'll fall so much. I've seen it happen. Now, that was a panic, but even if it wasn't a panic, I've seen it happen. So, literally, guys, just jump. Jump down there, and don't hesitate. Just go for it, because it's an easy jump, but if you try to walk, which it looks like you can, no problem. Yeah, you will have issues. Okay, chug. Now, this one we can walk, no problem. Let's go over and recover, and then I'm just gonna jump, basically, yeah. Just literally jump. Boom. No problem. Now, there's some butterflies back there, but I'm scared of gravity, so I'm not gonna grab them at this point. And if we run in here, we can get to a grace. Let's pick up the item, and now let's go to this grace, and then we can just use this from now on, because we still have some problems coming up, right? Oh my god. We actually have a mini boss, and this mini boss can be like ridiculous. Just because of where you have to fight it, it's pretty awful. Now we can spam our weapon and all that. We can also take off these claws now, which is good. And let's put this back on. But this is where the quest will be for that girl, Mill. And we get to make our choice here. 
the reality is helping her, like doing the good thing, you're going to get more rewards, but also it is harder. It is actually a lot harder. So, that being the case, watch out for this guy. I will probably switch my weapon just because I'll feel way more comfortable with the blood hound fang than I will with this weapon. This weapon's just kind of slow. You'll see what I'm talking about. So over here, we can cross this little log bridge. The boss is going to be once we run in there, okay? Now, I kind of recommend trying to make our way over here. I feel like this is the best spot if you have a ranged option. All the other spots are just, like, they're pretty awful, I'm going to be honest. And you can even be knocked off the cliff if you stand in some of the spots. So I'm going to run in and then run back. Once the stuff starts to shake like that, run back, and let's try to get into position, and then we can also chug our mix, and that's the grab, oh, I got lucky, come on, fall over, this is the good thing about this, is that we can try to keep him down if possible, but this is a decent spot, he's exploding, I got hit by that, I need to unlock, I'm going to try to back away a little bit. But I'm still safe here. Watch out for the grab. If you see that animation, always try to roll forward. That's just the best thing to do. Now we can do some more damage. And need to use an FP potion. Hopefully I don't get wrecked. He's doing an attack, but it can't reach me. That's what's really great about this spot. And he did. Woo! Woo! Trust me, he's pretty pretty hard. Like, if you have to go in here, that's the number one issue. If you're trying to fight in here at all, like, you're going to be with Scarlet Rot. It can be a nightmare. But we just grabbed that item. Just looking around. There's so many butterflies everywhere. So if you want to pick them up, like I said, I mean, look at that. There's tons of them everywhere. But right here, this is the summon sign. So like I said, I'm going to actually put back on my old weapon. With this build, this weapon is still good. We have a lot of strength and a lot of decks, so the weapon is fine. But like I said, you have two options here. You will get different rewards though, okay? The main thing you're getting here is going to be a talisman. If you help her though, you're going to get an ancient somber smithing stone. And you get like a quest item thing that I'll explain later. So you get more stuff, but the talisman that you get if you help her... Is an upgraded version of that winged insignia talisman which i don't know if i even have it on me anymore i don't think i do so basically it's whenever you do attacks you'll get more damage it's really good with like fast weapons and this is a really good talisman but the one over here is also pretty good too so on new game plus i would definitely like try to get this one as well because this one is basically the winged insignia talisman the base one but it gives you plus five decks. So anytime I can add stats, I like that a lot. But let's go ahead and come in here. It's going to be four on two. Now she is OP. Use her. She will wreck these enemies. But I won't. That's the issue. Like I'm going to actually have to put some work in here. And yeah, just try to not take a lot of damage. Try to do my Ash of War, which is still super good against these things because the AI is kind of dumb so okay they hit really hard okay we got another one on us watch out ah also they are pretty aggressive I need to do this nice 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 and I also need to use my FP now like I said she should be good the only thing that's gonna happen with her and it is kind of crazy is that she will fall off the cliff sometimes because her AI is really dumb. Please, please don't fall off the cliff right as I say it. That's been a trend here. But yeah, I mean, look at that. Basically, she wrecked three of them. I don't really have to fight the one, but it is a gank. So sometimes you might have three of them coming after you. If that's the case, yeah, it's kind of a nightmare. But we just got that talisman, which is awesome. Now we can go and talk to her. I'm also going to put my other weapon back on on leave it further down there we go but if we come down here she's going to be down here and we can talk to her you do need to reload this area though so that's going to be a thing so make sure she starts repeating herself and then we can reload the area come back and we're going to get a couple extra items 
One of them we can use once we beat Melina, the boss of this area. And I didn't actually know about this item, or at least how it worked. But what's kind of cool about it is that it allows you to start that whole Dark Lord, bad, evil ending that I've talked about before. Where you don't want to like do it because once you pick it, you're locked in. That's the ending that you're getting. You have no choice. Well, this item we're about to get will actually let us reverse that choice. It's the only way to reverse the choice. So we can actually pretty much do the beginning part and then just reverse the choice. So that's pretty cool. And that's something I'm going to probably do. So I'm going to go ahead and go back now to this drainage. That's the grace. And I'm going to reload the area. But I'm going to cut this ahead. I'm going to see you guys in a moment. Okay, let's quickly go back. And then we will actually make some progress. And we do have to do this whole little outside area. Where there's a lot of those knights. The big ones. But they're very easy just because it's like one at a time. And if it's one at a time with the guard counters and the criticals. They are kind of a joke. So watch out again for this guy. We can take him out real quick. And there we go. Goodbye. Let's go get these items. And I'm just going to probably port back. Yeah, I think you have to. Well, maybe not. You could probably jump on that branch. That's risky, though. Who wants to do that? So let's just go ahead and pick up the stuff. And then we can get out of here. Give me this. Thank you so much. And yeah. We just got this little quest item that we can use. So now, let's go ahead and go back. And then we are going to head to, I think it's like a church. But this is another one of those spots where it's just like beautiful. Now, I hope it's not nighttime. That's the wrong way. What am I doing? It needs to be daytime for this. If it's nighttime, I'm going back to switch it. Yeah, good. It's day. I mean, look at this. This just looks so cool. And yeah, we need to jump over here and there's no enemies right now but i mean yeah it's crazy there is like some weird stuff weird designs only because let me show you like down here if you go all the way down there you think there's an item there's a mess just there it's probably gonna say no item there's no item it's like what that's kind of weird but let's go ahead and come down this way and i do want to check one thing because there's an item there, but we can get that item no problem by dropping down the top. But you definitely want to drop down this top. There's also a ladder, by the way, that can get you back up here. But let me just look real quick by coming over here. Don't think there's any items over that way. So, you do need to find the right place to drop down here because you're looking for the platform right below us so this is the right hole there's a couple holds though make sure you're at this particular one and yeah you want to drop down here now rush ahead just do a little jump attack there and yeah they also bounce off so they are a freaking joke these things okay there we go the hyper armor is also very good with this weapon that's one thing i love about it Let's go ahead and pick this up now, which is another legendary talisman. And you want to make sure you drop down the right side. Let me look. Yes, I think that is right. If you drop down here on the left, it's not going to take you anywhere. There's nothing there, basically. So let me show you what I mean. There is a doorway here. And this is that item we've seen a second ago, which is just some crafting stuff. Now, there's more, like, centipedes and stuff at the bottom, so... Be ready for that. Let's just do this again. And... Oh, crap. Leave me alone! Ah, there we go. And he should be a goner now. And we could go get a Grace. I think I will. I think that will be the safer bet. That's what I'm going to recommend. Watch out. There's a big one out here. But there we go. Bounce us off. Yeah, this is insane. Take him out. And there is an item out here. Pick that up. Which, definitely don't need that in this area. But let's go ahead and get to the grace. Just so we can hit it. Just in case you die. It's probably better to come from this way. That way you could just kind of run through. But we need to go all the way to the bottom. And the boss is like right here. This is exactly where the boss is. But there is this whole like outside area. That we should go and clear like right now. So let me go ahead and go back. 
and I don't think I can level up right now. I'm pretty sure at this point, it's kind of crazy. I didn't expect to be this high level. I guess I should show you exactly my level and my build and everything. But yeah, the fact that I need 190,000 runes to level up is kind of like insane to me. Like, I am not used to that. But let's go ahead and walk out now. Just double check. And there's two sides to go. We can go left or we can go right. I'm going to go left first. There's going to be a lot of these guys over here. Tons of centipedes. And the one downside to this area is that there's actually like a lot. There's the ladder I talked about. That will take you back up top. Just in case you messed up maybe and you fell or something instead of landing on that platform. You can always just keep going and then just take that ladder back up. Take this guy out. Now, I'm probably going to use my weapon a lot. My Ash of War, just because. If it's like more than one, I want to make sure I take these guys out. Like, quickly? Because there is a lot of them. But if you can sneak up behind them. Instead of going for the backstab, just do that. And he did. Try to get that other one, too. The little ones are going to mess this up for me, probably. Maybe not? Oh, yeah, kind of. Uh, ah. Let's just have him attack. There we go. Boom. Follow up. And he did. Take him out. And make sure we grab this. Let me double check. Just look around for a second. Good, good. Let's keep going down. And yeah, so here, there's three of them. Actually, four, technically. So I'm drinking that. And we're going to town right now. Aha, look at the damage! My god! That damage is insane. Start targeting the big ones. That's what you want to do. You know? Make sure you're going after the big ones first. To not waste the mixed potion. Now we can kind of deal with the small ones. Lock them on, take him out. That big one should be coming down pretty soon. There we go. Alright. Oh, there you are. Let's say, why are you not coming after me, man? And take him out. So, yeah, this is super easy. Pick that up. Grab that. Oh, wow. I actually got that weapon. This is another spot where you think there would be something over here an item, something hidden. No. Okay. I don't know. But let's go ahead and go back. There's still, like, more to explore. I'm looking over here real quick, but again. No item. Kind of interesting, but we can do that. And that works like a charm. That was beautiful. And let's look around. So I think there might be only one more big one. And I'm just going to do this. And let's rush them and do our heavy. I still think that's a really good attack, by the way. So nice for, like, getting that AoE. And that's an important item. Allows us to buy stuff from the merchant at the round table. So that's super nice. Now let's go ahead and go backwards. And we'll go to the other side and clear that. The other side is like nothing but knights. There's tons and tons of these knights. But again, they're pretty easy because it's not like two or three of them attacking you at once. You can pretty much do this like smart. And then yeah. And there's a ton of these over here. A lot of these crafting materials. So, where is the first knight? Oh, he's right in the corner. Cool. Alright. Let's go ahead and keep blocking the guard countering. <laughs> and yes, yeah, it's a joke. It's crazy. When you don't have a shield and you have to, like, dodge everything these guys do. Oh, that's super frustrating. Nine. When you don't have a shield, you have to dodge everything. These guys are crazy. Ah, no. You actually broke my guard. Alright. Yeah, there we go. Now, as he gets up, I can charge up a heavy. And one more hit. No. My turn. There we go. It's kind of a pretty epic little duel with the guy, though. Even though, like, it's pretty easy because of the shield. Alright. Alright. So, yeah, we got, like, three... Oh, actually, there is a big one in that group. I thought it was just a bunch of them that weren't the big ones. What are you, what are you doing, dude? Hello? Uh, nah, nah. Ah, ah, mm, 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 mm. ah, oh, 
Uh oh. That magic. Yeah, see, I messed this up. This is a mess up. Should have been done a little bit differently where we could try to take out some of these guys. The extra ones before we actually had the big one come after us. Alright. There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. Alright, I'm just going for the crit so I can be invincible. Remember, these guys can heal, so you don't want to really give them a ability to do that. So just kind of watch them. If they stop, like, moving like that. Oh, God. I was going to say, that's when you need to strike. Probably a light attack would be better in that, like, case. I was doing heavies. Oh, there we go. I actually uh, missed. Oops. Got him. Now let's pick this up. Use your lock on. Lock on. I never like to click the button. You know why? Because it always is picked up on my microphone. That's one of the reasons, but using your lock on is a good way of seeing exactly where certain enemies are. So you can kind of like be way better doing it that way. All right, let's go ahead and come on down. I'm just making sure. Is there a knight anywhere chilling? There are a lot of them in this area. I mean, look at my XP, by the way. That is crazy. Here's another little spot where you would think this would be a great spot to hide something, right? Just put, like, an item over there? That would be a great spot. But they didn't, so... I don't know! Let's go ahead and keep going down. And... There's definitely a bunch of knights over here. There's an archer one coming up, too. Same thing over there. I don't think there's any item up there. It looks like there could be, though. So this is a big one, I believe? Yes, it is. But we can do our charge up heavy. Oh, ow. There we go. Got him. Wanted to guard counter him, but that works too. And are you dead? No, you're not. Now you're dead. Good. Let's pick up this item here. Or the crafting item. There is the archer. Now the archer, you can pretty much just keep hitting him the whole time. If you keep hitting him, he's not going to be able to really do anything. And he can't even like pull out his shield and like weapon. So, he's pretty easy, if you can get on him. Pick this up, and there is a path leading down, but we can actually go up first. So, this guy is mourning the dead or something. Kind of cool. Pick that up. Another guy over here. Just looking at the flower. Keep looking at the flower. And... We have a couple guys over here. Hello. Take one out. That one's got the shield. Come on. There you go. Beautiful. My turn. Pick this up. And there's a big dude. Okay, there is an archer right there. So let's lock on. Let's jump attack. And I missed. But like I said before, I'm just doing the light attacks because he is not going to be able to get his stuff out this way. One more. He did. We good. Let's grab the item here. So it looks like almost everything over here is just crafting stuff. I'm not really like finding items over here. I mean, there's just so many of these. And I believe there's like, yeah, look how many there are right here. Crazy. If you need these things, then yeah, this is the spot. And is that everything? I think so. So yeah really wasn't a lot of items or anything over here it's just more crafting stuff but now let's go ahead and just teleport to where is it exactly over here no oh my god where is the grace that i just unlocked earlier i'm so confused is it the roots i think it's the roots okay and yeah this is the final grace before the boss so oh god oh god Definitely need to level up before I fight that boss. But if you come in here, there is a giant flower. We get some armor. And we can actually unlock a shortcut. Which is weird. Yeah. This shortcut is very strange. Like, why would they put this here? Oh my god, so many butterflies. Okay, let me explain why I'm thinking this is so strange. And I, I really think about it. There's a grace right there. So what's the purpose of this? Like, I don't really understand this now. 
I do remember me and my buddy were using this for co-op. Maybe you just can't summon there. I don't know, but that's not true either. You can summon down there. Oh, okay. You know what? Now that I think about it, this shortcut is kind of genius because the reason why me and my buddy were actually using this shortcut the entire time and not like right there where the boss was was because I was helping him come through here for the very first time and then I was going to be helped by him afterwards. So we were able to pretty much get him down here and then once he was down here, he was able to summon me up top where I was and then I could just take the shortcut with him to get right to the boss. It was a pain because we died a lot to this boss just like pretty much everybody and having to travel all that extra distance kind of sucks. Okay. So, the big thing about this boss is that we can summon right away. Well, the first time you fight it, you're going to get a cutscene. You're going to be right next to her. That's a problem. Because the first, like, form is kind of easy if you can kind of cheese. This weapon is really good about the cheese, but you want some distance. And having the summon, the summon should do its job. Now... Once you have depleted the health, you get into phase two. Now, phase two is a nightmare as well. But the really good thing about phase two is that there is this one attack, which she always opens with this attack. It's this giant AoE explosion, which can easily kill you. But if you don't get killed by it, if you can get away from it and avoid it, then you're really able to spam and go crazy. And with the Black Knife doing its range attack, you can melt her in phase two with this weapon if you can have her do that one move. Now, the biggest thing about this boss is that she has this like crazy attack where she just goes insane. OK, when she does that, that's where almost everybody dies, where everything else is kind of like, OK, that's like tricky and everything. But like that one attack is so difficult, especially if you try to like avoid it, roll through it. It's really, really hard. So you can use the shield, but she's going to be recovering her health. Every time she hits us, she recovers health, including when we block. So we don't really want to block that much. I mean, if she hits your health, it's the same thing. So block. But you don't want to just stand there and just keep blocking her nonstop. She's going to just keep healing that way. So that's pretty much the bare minimum you need to know. And I can't believe I ran back as I'm explaining this and I didn't actually level up because that is important. I need to level up bad. Also, I'm going to pop a couple of these runes I have. Here we go. This should do it. This should be at least two level ups. And let's see what I can go for. Probably just more damage. I kind of do need faith for the end of the game. I might just respect the build. But the reason I need faith is because there is one incantation I want to cast for, like, the final boss of the game. It makes it super easy. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to go for more damage just because I'm greedy like that. Yeah, I'll take the more damage. Thank you very much. All right. Let's do this. Again, remember, after the cutscene, she's going to be right in my face. That is definitely going to be, like, annoying. And if I die... That's actually kind of good because when you come through normally, she's really far away. So yeah. Okay, let's see what happens here. But I am going to use my mixed potion, summon the black knife, and I'm going to try to just go crazy, like in the beginning. Oh god. Okay, watch out. I'm literally turning around and just trying to get as much distance as possible. And you see, when you get far away from her, she just walks. She's kind of dumb like that. So that gives us time to summon. And unfortunately, the Black Knife actually missed. That sucks. And hopefully, I can get her off of me and on the Black Knife. There we go. Yes, good job, Black Knife. With that hit. Okay, she fell over. And I'm just trying to get into position to try to do some damage. Ah, oh, crap. And I need to back up. Try to get that range. You see, one thing about her programming, and this is true as well for co-op, is that whoever, like, hits her... Now, that's the big move. That's the one that can destroy you. 
So try to block that and try, hopefully it doesn't hit you that much because she's healing the entire time. But like I was saying, the way she's kind of programmed is that once the black knife hits her, she should start to go after the black knife. At least that's what I always noticed in co-op. If I took a hit, then she would come after me. If my buddy would take a hit, she would come after him. So we were able to just kind of cheese this first like form because yeah, like it's insane. Like if that's the case, you just keep going back and forth. All right. Oh, you know what? I, I messed up. I messed up. I messed up bad. Okay, one of the things you really want to do on this fight... Okay, that's not good. Poor Black Knight. Okay, am I missing? No, I'm not. <sighs> you need to do that attack again, Black Knight. Please, do that attack. I beg you. Yeah, okay, this is a huge problem. It's such a big problem that I almost want to... Uh, like restart the fight Okay, the issue is is that you should have more FP potions for this fight. I didn't reset my FP potions that's not good because She's so easy if we can avoid this one attack, but let's see Okay, the moment it starts unlock and run for your freaking life and try to not get hit by it because if you do You're gonna get blown up Well, there you go Alrighty, now this time I'm going to reset my FP potions. I'm going to go for four. I would definitely think four should do it. Like we should have more than enough damage with four. And that does mean that we're not going to be able to heal as much, but it's all good. If we're getting hit that much, probably should just start over because you want to have some potions for the second phase. But the first phase, like I said, can be kind of easy if you can get like the right RNG kind of okay I'm gonna pop a rune arc this might be a waste because I'll probably die but just in case and technically you could this is like a good point to use it use one of these starlight shards now if you die a lot against this lady you're gonna run out of these super quick so it's up to you if you want to pop one or not but this can help I'm gonna pop one just because why not? I'll kind of show what it does. But once we go through, I don't care about my runes. I don't care. I'm not going for them. We're going to summon. Why is she running? Now she's running all of a sudden. All right. And just hope for the best here. If she can stay away and I can knock her down, then it's a joke. Okay. Oh, God. Thought I could knock her down, but guess not. That was crazy. I need to get like some serious distance right now. Nice, good job. Oh my god. Let me back up. Okay, she's not actually getting my black knife is not getting that attack off. She keeps failing. That sucks. Okay, is this a cheese? She's kind of in a corner. Alright. Block back up a little bit. There we go. Good job. Back up again, just rolling away. Go after the black knife! What are you doing? Black knife keeps hitting her with that, which is so good. I am just trying to not get hit. Black knife should finish this fight right now. Come on, black knife, do it! Alright, here's the moment of truth. This is it. Alright? Try to roll. Start rolling. Roll like crazy. Alright, alright. I don't know what happened there hit the black knife or something but you see how it's like down like that you get so much time to spam this when it, that happens now if she can do that attack again and we don't die she'll probably be dead i'm serious if you're really ready for it it's like ridiculous now that is of course her big move again she still has it and the black knife luckily is alive that is something that can clearly easily happen is that your summon can die. That's the attack, that's the attack. We have to avoid it. Okay, no, that's not the attack. That's another crazy OP attack. Should have blocked that one, oops. Now, another thing that you can be using, because, I mean, seriously, this is the moment to use all your consumables and to craft more and do all of that to help you. But one of those things can be this exalted flesh. This is going to increase our attack so it's definitely not bad 
at all. So let's go on inside, shove our mix, summon our black knife, and again, try to go to town and hope for the best. She does close the distance very quickly. Okay, that's never fun. Oh my god, the amount of health she gets back, it's so insane! That's so insane. Here we go. Good job, Black Knight. Good job. And I did pop another rune arc, by the way. I'll back it up a little bit. One more hit. And I can chug an FP potion. Alright. Chug an FP potion. Oh, God. Now, if you can actually, like, see that from so far away, kind of like that, you can roll, like, far enough away that it doesn't really hit you all that much. So that is one good thing, but for the most part, I would be safe and just block it. I really would. Okay. Back it up. You kind of want to be at full health for when this actually, like, starts the second phase. Because that second phase, yeah. You gotta avoid that. We have to avoid this attack. Now, Bloodhound Step is actually pretty good for this, too, by the way. Okay. Pretty much avoided it. That's perfect. Perfect, because now we can spam away like crazy. Come on, Black Knight. Hit it with that one amazing attack. We knocked her down there. Black Knight did its job. Okay, watch out. That is her craziness, but she's missing a lot of it, which is good. I'm just trying to really hope she doesn't like get a lot of her health back. Okay, that... Oh, God. Is that the attack? That is the attack. Oh, my God. This is what I'm talking about. This is such good RNG. This is amazing RNG. Come on, my stamina is the only issue right now. Come on, stamina. Hit her. Got her. That's what I'm talking about. If you can get her to do that attack a second time and you can avoid it, she is so screwed when you have good range. I mean, it, this weapon is amazing, obviously, but any really good ranged option like spells and stuff, you can really do some serious damage because she stays down so long. That's the thing. Now, we do need to reset this area, by the way. So let me do that. And then there's going to be a giant flower in here now that she's dead. And we can actually use that one item that we got from Mill. And this is going to give us the somber ancient stone I talked about. And that needle item, that is a way that we can get rid of that cursed ending. Which, you know what? I really, really hope I'm not going to regret this because I still need a trophy for one of the endings. But I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do this real quick just because there is a seal that you can get if you do this. So if you want to get like, you know, all the weapons, all the items, stuff like that, this is kind of important. Now, I don't know if you have to take your weapons off. I don't think you do, but you do have to take your armor off. Okay. And you just hit the door. Get a cutscene here. And this is really cool, right? I mean, how cool is that? Like, you do look pretty badass with those eyes. I like that a lot. But I need to quickly put my armor back on because I don't want to be naked and weird like that. There we go. Why am I going from the top to the bottom? We're going the opposite way. It's much better. All right, there we go. Now I can go and talk to the girl. Also, I have a ton of XP. I can level up again. So let's talk to her. And this is so messed up, especially with sound. I don't have any sound. But, I mean, you can read what she says here. And I'm pretty sure with sound, you can hear her, like, screaming. Because, oh my god. You literally burn her eyes out. Pretty freaking brutal. And let's talk to her. And I don't remember, does she give you the items or do you have to reload the area? You might have to reload the area. Okay. Talk to her again real quick. And yeah, once you do this, you're locked into this, right? Like, there's nothing you can do. There's no choice at the end. Normally, you get some choices to what you want to do. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here's another thing. She, Miss Waifu, is going to get mad at you for this. And I guess she will come back to you or be, like, happy with you again if you get rid of this option. But, yeah, she's pissed. Like, she's super mad. Okay, here we go. Now we can pick this up. 
And yeah, we're gonna get that seal, and we get some of those. And yeah, pretty much good to go. I have to get rid of that, which I don't know how to. I just know that that item is a way of getting rid of this, like, chaos ending. So I think that that's what you should do too, if it works. I don't know if I could just use the item. I have no idea. I have to look it up, basically. Oh, wait. Here we go. Can I use it, though? Let's see what it says. Uh, I need to bring up my detailed. Uh... Okay, maybe it's at the end I get to use it? I really just have to look it up. Now remember, I also need to go and get all of the Great Runes active, stuff like that, because there are some I haven't done yet. But in the next episode, we are going to finally make the story progress, start the point of no return, and I'm going to do like a lot in that episode. And then after that, I think I'll do one more just because if there's anything I'm missing, I'll try to remember. I'll have you guys help me and tell me things if possible. And I'll just beat the final boss and do all the extra stuff. And that's going to be it for the series. So probably two more episodes left if you were wondering about that. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I really hope you have enjoyed it and that it has helped. If it has, will you please like the video and also, be sure to subscribe for future episodes of this series if you are invested in it. Thank you so much for watching, and I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day. And peace out!